Alright, here we are again. Vlog number two. I'm pretty proud of myself for um, getting on here and making another <laughs> another video. I have a tendency to start a lot of things and just kind of throw those ideas out the window. So the fact that I'm on my second day feels really good. And anytime I like start forming a new habit or a new project that you know requires consistency, um, it feels really good to stay on top of that consistency. So, woohoo! Um, so this AM when I woke up today, um, I checked my phone, had some coffee, and I finally got to finish this book by Jack Kerouac called The Dharma Bums. And man, dude, this book just really spoke to my soul. And um, it's, it just really, it's really inspired a lot of my, my thought processes as of lately. I think it maybe took me like three weeks or something maybe a month, probably three weeks to read this book. Um, and over this like past month, three weeks or whatever, um, it's really kind of set a new fire under like just the meaning of life. Um, in the book, Jack Kerouac, I mean, they call it the Dharma, it's called the Dharma Bums. And he's pretty much just like, they're the part of the beat generation or the the rucksack revolution of just having a backpack and hitchhiking and, and catching rides and going on hikes and adventures and just literally living with no like conformity and no like material wealth and just like poetic wild and like raw living just up the coast of uh, the West Coast. And, and along the way, Jack meets all these like really cool characters, just these bohemian type folk. And they all just have their own connection to what the meaning of life is. And in the most... sometimes vulgar ways or just raw ways like all the characters all all of these ideas in these books it's just pretty much like it, it inspires me just to live your life because no matter what you do um it's important it's in it's, it's just it's important and equally doesn't mean a damn thing and just this philosophy of, of Buddhism is really in this book. Um, and, and like a lot of spiritual connection. And I really, really resonate with this because it's a little bit of like, um, like a monastic lifestyle, like, uh, very monkish and, and like just less material things living with, with nothing living in shacks and uh, cheap hotels and getting by um, riding trains and jumping train cars and shit like that. And then it all means something that like, while you're, while you're out there living and, and you're out there obtaining that meaning it's it's just inspiring me to like no one is going to live your life for you and that you know whatever you think you do don't overthink it don't overthink and don't don't question yourself so much um because you're going to get those answers that you need for your life by living your own life and stay strong in something you know stand for something um and i really felt like i'm getting that out of this book because it's something that i'm i'm really going through right now with coming back to this 
this artist that that I feel like is inside of me that just wants to not be contained, not be limited, and just to be expansive and um, wise, and not to be ignorant, not to be ignorant, but to be just expansive and wise and generous and calm, but strong and solid. And, you know, this book has come to me at the right time because I'm, I'm really letting go of what my mind perceives as you might call it the American dream or like just the idea of, of having a job, you know, having the house payment, having the, the routine of things. And I'm really, really letting that go and creating writing projects and, um, you know, starting a massage therapy business and like, you know, yeah, writing more poetry and bowling, you know, that's just a really big love of my life is bowling, jumping on a trampoline, going for long bike rides or long walks, um, meditating and breathing and all of these things like, yeah, some of those things, um, I can trade for, for monetary value. And it kind of seems like I'm being um, contradictory to what I just said. But like what I said in my previous vlog, that money is coming to me in a new way that I'm learning that like, it's, it's not, it's not about the love for money. It's, it's about the energy. It's about like, it's about the exchange. It's about creating something that benefits. And it's not not getting money from a way of 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 trying to take from someone and to be cunning and sneaky and also not to just get money from a um just like to have a job and have someone else like um declare my value right like oh you are uh you know a fifteen dollar per hour person it's like I'm not, I, I'm letting go of defining myself by, you know, how much money I make and starting to just value myself and, and, and show the world what I'm worth instead of letting the world decide to me for what I'm worth, because that's, that's where I've been in. And, and this is just me talking through my own process. This is not to say that someone who makes $15 an hour is invaluable or that like, you know, all jobs don't deserve some sort of credit because um, I heard the, the quote somewhere that all work is blessed. So no matter what you're doing, whatever work you're doing, it is blessed and it's for you to figure out. And so this is just me explaining what, what my work is and what I'm coming to know it as, which is to just be a creator and a creative person. And I want to earn a living and to, to meander my way through life doing that. And there is, there is enlightenment through like every single path. And that you can't be wrong when you're living your own life. And you know when you're not. You know, you know when you're not. That, that burning feeling of like something's not right you can't really ignore it you can suppress it and you can put uh, you can put drugs and alcohol on top of it um but it it always comes up in whether it's through your relationships or it's your jobs or something like your life is going to push you into the direction that it knows that you can handle it knows that you need and that you honestly want it's, I'm kind of being led to like, you know, what is free will? You know, is it fate or is it free will? And obviously I don't know and I don't need to know. I don't need to know those answers. I don't need to know those whys. But hmm. I don't even know where I was going with that thought. That's just pretty random. <sighs> The meaning of life, just philosophy. You can get lost in philosophy. That's this Dharma Bums book, man. It's just been a lot of inspiring philosophy of life.
I'm just trying to be here and create my own philosophy and just try to live by it. So I'm really attracted to to expanding thoughts and religion and spirituality and philosophy because it makes you think, it makes you think on your own. You know, everyone is a philosopher in their own way. There are just aware philosophers or unaware philosophers, but you're all, we're all moving through this life that we built with beliefs and systems unconsciously and consciously and we're all figuring it out we're all I think Ram Dass says we're all walking each other home it doesn't matter it doesn't matter where you come from it doesn't matter what you're doing because you're going to just be doing it anyway that's so like it's, I, I say that and it just feels meaningless like it's like it does, that doesn't mean anything it doesn't get anything done and it's not supposed to. I don't think philosophy is necessarily supposed to get anything done. It's not supposed to necessarily be practical. It's meant to, to bring that life into you. You know, philosophy is there to help inspire you to do the action. But it's not there to act. Like, philosophy is not there to, you know, make your problems go away or to, to be the person that you want to be, it just kind of challenges you and it, and, it, and it helps bring meaning to this meaningless life. Because at the end of the day, it means nothing. But, but if we can bring love into everything that we do, if we can infuse this meaningless life with as much meaning as we can, even as it seems delusional, there's a wonder to it. There's a there's a there's a calmness to it. There's a there's imagination to it. To bring love into everything that you do. I know that as these vlogs go on that my trains of thoughts are going to be a little bit more concise and a little bit more... Who knows? Who knows? Who knows where this is going to go? This is just a recording of my freaking mind and myself and just another great way to be creative. Just to me sit here rambling on to infinity. If someone pays attention, that's fine. And if they don't, these words are still said. So. Alright, well, I'll just spend these last couple minutes just talking about my goals, what I'm trying to accomplish. Um, I am working on... I just finished a writing project last week, a couple weeks ago. Um... And I called it the stress care package. And it's something that I want to kind of formulate and maybe give to my massage clients. Um, but it's just pretty much the philosophy of detox and just the philosophy of, you know, surrendering and letting go and how that helps manage our stress and um, improve our overall quality of life. And now I'm working on this uh, workshop project whatever you want to call it, um, for posture, because, um, being a tall dude, uh, I've had to really, I've come a long way in bettering my posture and realizing how I think important it is. I mean, especially for tall people, but just like people in general, I think if we practice posture, better posture, we're going to, um, be more open to receiving, you know, the information that's ready for us. And we're not going to be so bogged down with chronic stress in the body and, tight muscles and such things like that so um hope to get that done within the next week well so six days now but uh, i'm just going to spend a couple hours every day working on that spend an hour a day you know doing more poetry i want to create like a, a collection make a debut collection poetry collection book catalog or something like that but all right last 10 seconds of the video that's it 15 minutes i'm out